Today we'll be looking at the definition of apocalypse. Say, Billy, do you know what apocalypse means? No, sir. The definition of apocalypse is as follows. The complete final destruction of the world as described in the book of Revelation. Are you ready for the coming apocalypse, Billy? No, sir. <laughs> Didn't think so. Not many families are. But when the mutant hordes come to rape and devour your parents, you'll need to be prepared to fight back. Over the next six episodes, I'm going to show you how to survive the apocalypse, fight off mutants, and rebuild society. Order your apocalypse survival package now. She was that, so she was nasty, she had the lot So don't you hate me, don't you shame me, don't you blame me for my little sadistic plot It's in my nature, I'm a creature, it's my feature, it is in my divine right So don't you hate me, don't you shame me, don't you blame me for what I did all that night, come on Who's this guy? What have we got here then? Fucking nice little pretty boy, look at you. Can't wait to get a dick inside of you, boy. He is not coming near us. He's gonna fucking die. This axe is going straight into his head. <laughs> Yeah. 
save me, George. No closer. Whoa, I'm just a simple trader. I don't mean you any harm. It's dangerous to be out here on your own. And it's awfully dangerous for someone as young as you to be outside the safe zone without an NUG escort. Look, what do you want? What do I want? I want to trade. I'll trade anything you want. Always looking for a good deal. I've got some ammo we... Uh, I don't use, it's useless to me. Okay, you've got a deal. What do you want? So do you travel on your own? Oh no, I've uh, got my protection. Did the NUG ever bother you? Sometimes. They're not too keen on me trading stuff I've looted. They aren't too keen on anything, really. Oh, they mean well. All that armour and helmets and shoulder pads and what have you. Doesn't make them seem any friendlier, though. Right, you mind how you go. It's a dangerous world out there.
What the fuck are you doing in my tent? Who's this crazy bitch? Oh no. Who are you talking to? No one. Who are you talking to? What? You, obviously. What are you doing in my tent? This is your tent? Yeah, and those are my supplies. We should kill her. Shut up. Who are you telling to shut up? I'm the one with a gun aimed at your head, stupid. I'm, I'm sorry. I don't normally talk to other people. Are you alone out here? Have you ever had whiskey before? No. Have you ever been drunk before? Nope. Do you ever wonder what the television was like? Not really. I just... It was just a box with people inside it, doing stupid things. It was called acting. And apparently it was a very respectful job to have. People used to watch films every day. Did it all really mean that much to people? I guess it did. It was their way of weaving their problems behind them. Their escapism. I wish we could do that now. What? Escape? Welcome back! Today I'm going to be talking about mutants. What are they, and where do they come from? This is a mutant. This mutant was once a human, but it came into contact with C-12. If left untreated, the victim's body will continue to mutate uncontrollably, resulting in horrific and dangerous side effects. The incubation period for C-12 is 14 hours. If bitten on a limb, it is advised by NUG protocol to remove the infected area as soon as possible. Failure to do so will result in full mutation, leaving only one possible outcome. Say, Billy, do you know what a nest is? A nest is the name of a breeding ground created by the mutants usually found in poorly lit areas like caves, tunnels, and abandoned buildings. Do you know what to do with a nest if you find one, Billy? Kill it with fire? That's right, Billy. You kill it with fire. Billy, what's the best way to deal with a mutant? Kill it? That's right, Billy. You kill it. In any way you can. Blake, you've been found guilty of stealing from the camp by the small council of the NUG. You're to be banished to the wastelands. Don't do this, Drew. I'm sorry, Blake. You committed a crime. You must receive punishment. I was hungry. I needed the food. We're all hungry, Blake. But the NUG brings us strict rations for a reason. No one has the right to steal from anyone else. Some of us need it more than others. The decision's final. You've made yourself an outcast. So that's it then? You all think the NUG are here to protect you? They're as bad as the bandits. We don't need them. And I don't need them. I'm sorry old friends. May you find sanctuary in your new life. Right then guys, you all got ammo? Check. Check. Sidearms, two clips each. Yes, check, check, and double check. How are we gonna manage this with so little firepower? I mean, we're two men down. Look, Dovodovsky and Clayton died so we can get this mission done, yeah? Don't forget that. They were taken by surprise by mutants, that's why they're dead. If it weren't for the capital giving us better intel, it wouldn't have happened. Look, they knew the risks just as much as we did when we signed up, yeah? Wait, wait, wait. So what are we supposed to do now? Just burn the nest? With just the three of us? We've got the robot. 
The robots are slow. The AI is fucked on them, and I don't trust the cunts. Well, unlike you, Gutter, at least the robot can hit its targets. <laughs> Fuck off, dickhead. I use a shotgun not because I can't aim, because it fucking makes a mess of them. Hey, is this is this where um sign up for the army? No. Fuck off, kid. Oh. Got her. Be nice. Fuck's sake. She hit sign up, kid. Yeah, uh, uh, Mr. Drew, Drew, send me a, a t t sign I've been stationed there for two weeks, we've not had one volunteer. And the first one he does is fucking 12. I'm, I'm 22, actually. <laughs> Alright then, Mr. 22, you ever killed a mutant before? No. Ever fired a gun? No, uh, well, Drew only really lets the guards here. Wait, 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 have you actually been outside of these walls before? Well, like, I've been here walk from the river For and... fuck's sake, Walker, we can't take him. We might as well feed him to the mutants now and get it over with. Right, fuck it. We need all the men we can get. We've got the robot to do the shooting, and Rookie, you can, I don't know, carry some bags or something, yeah? Mm -hmm. You're need this. And uh, this, but you might want to get the brains out of that one, yeah? <laughs> Congrats, Rookie. You've made the team. Now you need to decide whether you want to be burnt or buried when you die. <laughs> Walker, squad. We must leave now if we are to complete this mission before sunset. Greetings, human. My name is Zero Seven. I will be your NUG certified battle class android. At your service. I'm Jack. Hi. As of today, your name is Rookie. And if you survive this trip, we might even call you by your real name. Alright then boys, let's do this. Let's get this mission started, yeah? Hey, do I get a gun? Yeah, you take this. One magazine. Make every shot count. Thanks. <sighs> Fucking starving. Yeah, me too. Where's Mitch? Having some long time with my sister. Fuck's sake. Oh, you is here. You all done, yeah? Yeah, sorry. Right, I need to grab your boys. I need to do a supply run for us. We're getting low on food. Right, quick. You three, we've got a run to do. Let's get his gear together. Careful. Right. I need you and your boys to head down to Old Town. Running low on supplies. I need some more food. Right. Oh, not Old Town. Smells of shit. Oh, no worse than you. You two, get your shit together. And Mitch, make sure you come back all three of them, yeah? Don't worry, safe with me. Good luck, boys. Do you even know what a nest is? Yeah. No. Sort of. The nest is where the mutants breed. It's where they take the captives to feed the young, you know, drain them of nutrients, body fluids, that sort of thing. Everything a baby mutant needs to grow big and strong. We'll go in there, burn the nest, and destroy any of the mutant cunts left alive. What if there's any, like, captives in there? For fuck's sake. If there's anyone alive in there and it doesn't jeopardise the mission, then. We'll get him out, yeah? Happy? Yeah. Right. I'm not happy about this walk. I ain't got enough men to protect this base as it is. Wait, 
seems like you've got a good fucking handle on oh, it. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Oi, yeah. Oi. Right now, our orders to exterminate mutants, yeah? You've got enough firepower here. You've got your own droid. Acroid? Yeah. <laughs> that piece of shit. It's for construction, not for battle. It's not my problem, Drew. I got my orders from the capital, and right now there's orders to go kill mutants, not protect you. We're back after dark. If you're lucky, we might get some food for the rest of you. Yeah. Good luck, boys. Pussy. Say that again, you fucking cunt, and I'll fucking rape your face. My scan suggests you don't have a high enough IQ to perform such a task. <laughs> Got you there. Cheers, mate. Are you making funny like that? It's Dovdowski's idea. He didn't like how soulless the thing was, so he uh, gave him a sense of humour. And it made him like some kind of comedian. Like Ackroyd. That piece of shit construction droid you've got. Ackroyd's not shit. He entertains the kids. You're still a fucking kid. Are we here to kill mutants or what? Minimal rifles detected inside the building. All right then, fuck it, let's do this. Look, leave the helmets here, they only piss us off. Right, you two, you know what you're doing? You want tight formations, yeah? Rookie? Just stay on my six. Just don't fuck <laughs> it up. Zero seven, you're leading. This way, human overlords. Well, now they know we're fucking here. Go! 
on the nest and get the fuck out of here. There's oil in your bag. Bye -bye. You might still be alive. It's fucking already turned anyway. Is that a mush? Guys, what are you fucking doing? We don't have time for this. Where am I? He's safe. It's okay. It's fine. I won't call it safe. I'm gonna turn. No. Come on, hurry up. I'm helping hurry him. Hurry up. No, 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 no. What are we doing? I can't hold this much longer. Come on. Rico, you got an exit yet? Yeah, I think so. Right, go, go. Come on, go. Come on. Come on, leave it. Fuck out of here. Don't be a fool, come on! Come on, move! Enclave. The term for a settlement fortified by survivors to protect from the harsh apocalyptic world. When the C-12 virus first came and society crumbled, people began to group together and hold up inside buildings. But people made bad decisions, choosing unsafe areas like hospitals and churches. A good enclave location needs to be strong, easy to defend, and have an escape route. Strong high walls are a must, and it always helps to have working irrigation. Once your enclave is fully functional, and you've allowed NUG soldiers to make base, it's time to start rebuilding society. It's your duty as a wasteland survivor to keep the human race alive. So find a suitable female and consider repopulating the earth. Under NUG guidelines, there will be no religious icons, practices, or buildings inside enclaves. Science is the only help we need. And speaking of science, every enclave needs a state-of-the-art NUG classified robot companion. You can use your robot companion to protect your enclave from bandit attacks. Or, you can use it for laboring tasks such as farming and heavy lifting. Remember, the NUG is here to protect. I know it was hard, getting rid of Blake. He was your friend. He was a thief. The NUG have strict rules and we have to live by them. We don't have to do everything they say. I know, but they keep us safe. Do they? Look around. We're unguarded. They left us again. They'll come back. They always do. How did she die? Cancer. The doc tried everything. Everything he could. He really did. I'm sorry. I never got to meet her. <laughs> you two would have got along great. You just like her. Strong. And stubborn. Mm. 
Is that... It's a fucking doctor. For Christ's sake, Doc, how many times do I have to tell you not to leave this place without an escort? Well, the soldiers are gone. Right. Scavengers are out on the supply run. Right. You guys are guarding this place. What's the hassle? No hassle? You're not even carrying a weapon. Yeah, yeah, but I've just, you know, I, I've just been out for some herbs. What's the hassle? Good morning, Dr. Clark. Do you require any assistance euthanizing yourself? No, Ackroyd. I do not need assistance euthanizing myself. The average human lifespan in this environment is 70 years. Clock's ticking, Doctor. I'm not that old. I could always tie you a rope. You've got a very warped mind. I wish I had a mind, Doctor. I'm just circuits and wires. Doc, sneak out again. Yeah. At this rate, we're going to have to chain him up. They're back! Finally, you're back, boys. Come on. Get in now. Did they follow you? No, we lost them. Oh, good. Where's Mitch? I'm sorry. I'm hard and mute. He didn't make it. What? Nice all. I'm all right. Got some beans, uh, some dog food, and um, I'm not sure which is which. <laughs> I feel I'll be going to stew tonight. Help! They're coming! We'll get him. Drew! Mutant! Shit. They're not going to make it! Come on! They're not going to make it! Come on! Come on! Have you been bitten? No, I'm just scratchy. Alright. Sarah? Pass me the alcohol, please. Thank you. You should be out there helping. They can manage. I'm not letting you out of my sight.
Doc's Doc. What the fuck happened out there? Hang on, Drew, leave it. It's okay. We got ambushed by the old supermarket. There were too many mutants to fight off. I got separated from the others. They're dead. I'm sorry. I didn't know what else to do but run. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. Otherwise, you'd be dead. Look, get some rest. We can handle this. Fuck are you? You just made a fucking bad mistake, boy. I'm just here to see the king. What's the king want with you? I've got some information for him. I can get you weapons, I can get you supplies. Fucking head off. Go on, lads, come on, fucking eat him. Go on, I'll fight. Fucking get up. Come on, come on, fucking do him. What's that? Come on, get in there. Go on, do it. Come on, fucking get in there. Go on, lad. Good lad. Yes, go on, you fucking fucking eat him. Go on, lad. Come on, fucking get in there. Go on, fucking get in there. This yeah. fucking looking maggot, hey? You wait to see the king? I can't fucking wait to see this. Go on. Fucking get down, you suck right. shit. Oh, fucking king's gonna love you. <laughs> what have we got here then? Oh, this little maggot is it to see the boss. <laughs> oh, brilliant! That'll do nicely. In you go, mate. What have we got here? A guest? A prisoner? An assassin, perhaps? I'm just here to speak to the king. Oh, you're here to speak to the king. You think you can just waltz into camp and ask for conference with the king? I've got something he wants. Huh. And what is that? Now, now, manners, head up when you address the king. What do you have that I could possibly want? I have guards and soldiers. I have weapons, supplies, and women. No, no, please, mercy, please. And why should I have mercy on you? I'm sorry, I just... You're pathetic! You're not even worthy of the arena! Oh, wait, wait, please! Maybe not. But I know somebody who is. I can get you fighters. I can get you supplies, I can get you women. I've just come from the east where there's an enclave. Continue. The people who banished me, they left me to die. Now there's plenty of them. If you are right, 
I will reward you. If you are lying, I will remove your head and feed you to the mutants. Where's Jasper? Last I see, we're the champion. When he returns, tell him to rally the men together. You're going on a raid. Well, well, well. Looks like you got your wish. What's your name? Blake. Well, Blake, you're one of us now. <laughs> Well, boys, initiation time! Yeah. Yeah. Get him! Get him! Go on. Yes. Go on. Get him! Get him! Get him again! Get him! Get him again! Go on! Come on! Go on! See what he's got! Get him! Go on! Yes! Yeah! See? Well done, maggot! You do for us, mate. Go on! Get him! What the hell was that? Don't worry, that's just the thing of nightmares. <laughs> hey! You fucking saw that fucking thing out of yours. I'm going to see to me, boy. Hang on, boy. I'm coming. Mutants. They're like zombies, but worse. They continue to mutate as long as they remain infected. Some can become quite powerful and large. They can be killed in any way. It doesn't have to be a headshot. Although, they always look cooler. Cannibals. When food became scarce in the wasteland and society broke down, some people had to resort to extreme measures. They had little belongings, and most of their clothing was made from the skin and bones of their victims. NUG. The new United Government was formed as a militia group by ex-army and police forces when civilization collapsed. Although their intentions were to protect survivors and wipe out mutant infestations, the NUG were often shunned for imposing curfews and rations on enclave inhabitants. But if you ask me, they're doing just fine. Bandits. The worst elements of humanity have come together to form an army under one ruler, the Bandit King. The ranks are made up of rapists, murderers, and thieves. These are not people you want to try to reason with. So keep your walls high and your gun loaded. Pretty one. You're gonna cook up real good. It's your time, soldier. Get away from me, you inbred fox! We are not. How hungry are we all? An arm? A 
Leg. Two legs. Leave him alone. You watch your tongue, or it'll be the first thing I cut out when it's your turn. Well, it's been fun having you. You and your nugget friends. They were very tasty. And as they say in show business, break a leg! Looks like you're gonna be breakfast! Stop it! It's gonna be a tasty one. Gimme! But where shall we begin? Fuck you. Yeah, you'd like that, wouldn't you? Let me have a... No, slit her throat and be done with it. I only need five minutes. For fuck's sake, go and take her then. Make it quick. I will do. Wait! You'll need this. That's not gonna help you. You're not gonna let him kill us, are you? This can't be the end of us. Not like this. Leave her, we don't even know her. I'm gonna eat you from the inside out and enjoy every minute of it. And your teddy ain't gonna help you now. You can't get away. Um, I 
didn't catch your name. George. So where are you heading now? To find the Bandit King. And why would anyone want to do that? He murdered the only person I ever cared about. And what happens when you find him? I'm going to kill him. This is where we part ways. Goodbye. So if you follow the stream along there, stay along the tree line. Are you even fucking listening? Look, everyone else has died in your group. What am I thinking? I can't, I can't send you on your own, this is too dangerous. Oh, I could do it. Are you I sure? Yeah. Right, right. You want to avoid that at all costs. There's mutants everywhere there. Keep going along. I'll speak to you in a bit, okay? Your name? I'm George. I'm Sarah. This is our enclave. Take your bags off. Relax. Who the hell are you? Whoa, Drew. He's clean. You'll have to excuse Drew. He's a little on edge at the moment. Yeah, well... We were attacked by mutants recently and I lost a lot of good men. How did you end up here? We're just discovered you. Right. Well, you look like you can handle yourself. You just be careful. There's a lot of soldiers stationed around here. Had. They should have been back by now. Do I smell food? Yeah. We've got pigs, a farm, we grow our own carrots. Go on, I'll show you. George, do you want some of the real reason why you're here all alone? Surviving. <laughs> Surviving? All by yourself, yeah? Not part of any group? Barely any weapons? Hell are you trying to prove? I'm not trying to prove anything. I'm looking for someone. <laughs> yeah. And who exactly are you looking for? The Bandit King. <laughs> the Bandit King? Are you serious? <laughs> we won't find him round here. Nothing but death comes to those who seek out the Bandit King. Thanks for your hospitality. That's what separates us from the rest of the world. Be safe out there. Scouts tell me there may be a Bandit clan to the west. It's about a ten mile walk, but I can't say for sure. I've never been that far. But if it is, you're going on your own as a suicide mission. I'm sorry I don't have the firepower to help you. I work better on my own. Good luck. Bandits! Where? In the tree line over there. I warn the others. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
I'm sorry, you're not on the guest list. I'm sorry, but you're not on the guest That's mine. Hey! I didn't give you permission to fucking move. Now get back down on your knees. Fucking bastards! Much better. Mitch! No! Hey, you gonna let us go when we took all of our fucking shit? Yeah. We'll let you go. But not here. We're gonna be fighting in the arena for the entertainment of the Bandit King. This is it. This is our chance to get to the King. Let's go! Normally people put the fight. Go away over there. No one's going anywhere! You want to fucking back? Where am I? Where are my friends? Oh, don't worry about that, kid. You'll see them soon enough. But for now, welcome to the arena! Who's that? This, this is our great and powerful leader. Our salvation, our savior, the Bandit King! Remember what you did to me, George? Hello. Let's the games begin!
okay. You did good out there, kid. What did you say? Is there a way out? I didn't get a good look. No sign of my weapons either. Oh, shit! It's like Section 8 all over again. Look, I promise you, I won't let any of you die. Alright? Blah, blah, how inspiring. What are you looking at? What are you? The boss. A little bit short to be a boss, aren't you? Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> Eeny, meeny, miny, and mo. You're next. Time to shine. It's okay. Dylan, no! It's okay. No! I'll be alright. I'll handle these guys. You sure? Be yeah. careful. Yeah. yeah, we'll see. He's next. Get him ready. I'll see you later. It's like Godzilla in Tortilla, you could call it Monster Rock! Change. I think we'll take the lady. No. No. Oh, I understand, I understand. She's so pretty. Let's see if she's still pretty in about 15 minutes. Take her. It's fine. I can kick ass better than you with my eyes closed. Okay, yeah, you're gonna step up and fight. I don't fight. I entertain!
this, Blake. You led them to us! I'm coming for you first.
crazy. Oh, why so glum? You can't do any worse than your husband. Oh, I'm so bored of this. Ooh, any gossip? Got a surprise for your oh so impressive fighter over there. Third time. Doesn't happen often. Take him. Best of luck. Yeah. Why don't you fight me, you funny face fucker? Yeah, that's right. So brave. John, you know I'm gonna reward you. Take all three of them, they can watch. Yeah, about time. Come on. Come on, move. have a name, and it's a name that strikes fear into the heart of even our bravest of bandits. He's the freak with chic. He's the monster with bars. He's the hybrid of heroin. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the beast. to the final installment of your Apocalypse Survival Package. Today we'll be looking at close quarter fighting techniques you'll need to learn to stay alive in the wasteland. The Scorpion. The Death Claw. The Sledgehammer. The Crowbar. The NUG approved sleeper hold. The Bandit Bash. The Execution. Thank you for purchasing this tutorial and survival guide. 
The NUG and the makers of this guide take no responsibility for limb damage, loss of hearing, lung disease, radiation poisoning, drug addiction, assault, cannibalism, bestiality, mutation, murder addiction, sociopathic tendencies, depression, anxiety, or death that may come as a result of following this guide. Stay safe out there. Fix him. Yeah, shouldn't be too hard. Get on it. Oi! Fuck sakes. Fuck. Rocky, I'm out of ammo. We need to get some more. Holy shit, nice work. Greetings, human. I'm back from the dead. It wasn't very fun. What happened here? Where is everybody? Bandits came. Lots of fighting. Where do they take them? Unsure. But we could ask those two scavengers in the field. Bring out the champion. Another fighter. There aren't really any bandits left, King. Then you are of no use to me. You ungrateful son of. If you want a job doing right, do it yourself.
nothing more than an ant under my boot. Ah! Ah! This is your god! Look at it, please! Avenge me, George. Now! Let's do this. Stay with us? Yeah, I guess I am. Good. Car! My car approaching! It's military! Military? Right, you stay here, keep it out, yeah? Mm-hmm. That is. I'm Colonel Stark, your CO. You must be Walker. Yes, sir. Oh, where's the rest of your squad, Walker? Dead, sir. On the last mission, trying to clear out a mutant nest. I know what the last mission was. I was the one who issued the orders for it. You are from the capital, and you are? I'm Drew, and this is my enclave. I see. Well, thank you, Drew, for allowing my men to be based here for so long. They've done tremendous work in the area dealing with the mutant infestation. Something tells me Uncle Morris waited us to say thanks. No. I've been trying to get hold of you for the last week over the net, and had no response. I need a report on how the last mission went. Sorry, sir, we've been caught up in more personal matters. Well, was the mission a success? Did you destroy the mutant nest? No, sir. 
I got overpowered. Lost the whole damn squad. Got Rico, Gutter, the android. It was just as we thought. To that end, the council and the capital have decided that a more drastic action is required to deal with the mutant problem. One that's a more permanent solution. You found a cure? Now, if the cure is hellfire, then yes. You're gonna bomb the country? Well, it fucking nukes have put us here in the first place. Look, we know it's a drastic step. But the council have voted and the people of the capital are all in favour. And what about us? And that's exactly why I'm here. Come to the capital with me. You'll each get a home, food, clean running water, even a power supply. They're evacuating the area as we speak. You stay here, you die. Well, it don't sound like we have a choice, does it? This is our home. But it'll never be the same without the others. I'm in. Same. I'd rather get ripped apart by mutants than live in NUG luxury. But it's that'll get burnt alive, innit? Yeah, I'm in. Excellent. I'll radio the helicopter to come by. Hey, Sorry, um, there's mutants. There's what? Mutants. You shit in And me. a lot of them. No, come on! Come on! Sick of his mew and dick <laughs> She was nasty, she was nasty, she had the luck So don't you hate me, don't you shame me, don't you blame me for my little sadistic luck It's in my nature, I'm a creature, it's my feature, it is in my divine right So don't you hate me, don't you shame me, don't you blame me for what I did all that night, come on Making flesh colored shadows all through the night. I'm a puppeteer, did you hear that you should feel when I get hold of you tight? Cause I can possess you, even caress you, I can sit and lay dormant unidentified. It's in my nature, I'm a creature, it's my features, why the devil lays inside? You know, fuck you, man. <laughs> fuck the apocalypse. <laughs> Nobody needs a fuck. Yeah, here's your apocalypse right here. <laughs>